I was like, right on the punchline, motherfucker. Great, you got <laughs> the hell's going on, man? <laughs> it's just diabetes shit. You could at least lie to me. Now we're all depressed. <laughs> I was about to make fun of him. Is that a jitterbug? What the fuck is that? Get an iPhone, man. It's gonna work my way out of this comedically, but you're like, he's dying. That's why he's creepy. Are you gonna make a joke about that? He's a comedian, man. My dying father. Huh? I can't work my way out of this. Son of a bitch. I don't know. You shut it off, and then you keep drinking beer. God. Thank you so much for tuning into this comedy special. I do hope you enjoy it a lot. Just a quick note, this will be an ad-free comedy special in the performance portion of the special because I want you to enjoy it ad-free. No interruptions. Uh, I do make significantly less money because of that and if you do enjoy the special, feel free to donate to my Cash App or my Venmo. Um, something reasonable like a tip dollar five bucks ten bucks forty two thousand dollars i'll take anything because earlier that day in las vegas i was actually in a car accident on sahara avenue someone brake checked the hell out of me it might have been an insurance scam i was coming off of this entrance here i was here looking for oncoming traffic i would start driving straight this guy stopped right here and whatever happens in vegas stays on your driving record I need to get a lawyer so donate what you like if you like the special if you did like it and you're broke don't feel the need to give uh, just share it on social media hey it's Monday yes I just flew in on spirits so I'll be wearing these clothes for the next four days <laughs> If you ever flew Spirit before, but the flights are like six bucks. <laughs> then you add a Ziploc bag, it's $900. It's better just land and buy clothes when you fucking land. <laughs> Went into Burlington Co Factory today. <laughs> That's my favorite store in America, Burlington Co Factory. There are no fucking coats. <laughs> Any Burlington Coat Factory. This store makes no sense. I go in there, it's like candles, socks, puzzles. Where the fuck am I? I go in there to feel like Joe Biden for like 45 minutes. signs at every Burlington, they say, we prosecute shoplifters. <laughs> the shit you sell attracts methods. <laughs> what other store can I buy a FUBU jersey and a screwdriver <laughs> in the same fucking aisle? That is a method store right there. Too bad they don't sell coats though, man, because, you know, you need coats, that way you can fly spirit, you know what I mean? <laughs> Pack all your shit in the pockets and shit. The gate agent knows exactly what you're doing, like, oh, off to Vegas in July, are we? Is that why you're dressed like Kenny from South Park? <laughs> Budget traveling, man, fuck. 
flying southwest next week. Yeah, they let you check in two bags. So you gotta have your hands free because you're about to fight. <laughs> Southwest is the shittiest airline. Because all this Boeing stuff going on, Southwest has the worst stories, man. They had a lady get sucked out of the window. Remember that? <laughs> Dude, all it takes is one second. You're playing Angry Birds and... <laughs> That's it. It's fucking over, man. to tell these pilots to stop mumbling and whispering the announcements. It's like they're trying to slip some shit by you. I'm gonna sit there like, okay folks, 20,000 feet. <laughs> slightly breezy. <laughs> Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Fuck around and find out. old pilot. That makes me feel good. <laughs> Ever look at the back of the pilot's head and start judging him? <laughs> you see the gray hair? I'm like, good. He looks like Sully. We're gonna be his rock. <laughs> this dude's seen some shit, you know? I don't always get that, though. Sometimes I gotta do a connecting flight to some podunk town, and I got like a four-seater connecting flight. They're not gonna give you headliner pilot on that. <laughs> They're gonna give you open mic or pilot. <laughs> Dude, they're trying out. My pilot had acne and braces. <laughs> He's using the microphone. Oh, I'm not trying to hear uh, 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 in the sky. <laughs> Shit, I'll take uh, 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 over. Uh, uh. hot as hell here, man. I don't know how people live here. I sat on my balls twice today, man. Brutal, man. I couldn't move them. I was in public. I had to do this. I was at a Starbucks. A lady's reading her book right there. It's like, Shit, please don't look up. Extreme weather, man. I'm from Kansas. We have extreme weather there. We got heat, all that shit. We got tornadoes. We got rednecks that chase tornadoes. <laughs> and we're gonna get that nigger here and here. get all close and shit, like, we're gonna get it, and it's like, this shit ain't running from you. <laughs> You're not chasing anything. <laughs> Rednecks are not afraid of weather, that's one thing I've noticed. <laughs> Traveling the whole country, it doesn't matter what it is, they're just not afraid. Like, hurricanes, they get a two-week warning in Florida, they don't give a shit. <laughs> you ever see the interviews in Florida? Right? Like a week before the hurricane hits, they start interviewing the redneck community. Like, what's your plan? It's gonna hit on Saturday. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna stay here near my home. Shit, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I ain't no hurricane gonna chase me out of my home. <laughs> Tell you that right now. <laughs> then you turn on the news on Saturday. Hey! Scared of a little old man. <laughs> it's not 
kind of weird to be afraid of that shit, you know? The third, I had three tornadoes. The third one almost killed me. And the third one flipped over the trailer next to us. I'm from a trailer park, but... <laughs> you knew that, because I was in a tornado. <laughs> Man, tornadoes only attack trailer parks, man. They fucking hate poor people, man. Tornadoes are like the Republicans of storms. <laughs> Poor piece of shit. Got a little bit of shit, and I ain't got no shit. <laughs> Trailer got flipped over upside down next to us. The guy inside stayed asleep the whole time. <laughs> As a kid, that didn't make sense, but now I'm an adult, I know what fentanyl is. <laughs> that makes sense. So I have trauma from tornadoes, man. But my parents still making fun of me. Scared of a little And I want to hear them get sucked up so bad. I want to hear their fear. He sounds scared up there. Does he just... <laughs> now I live in Los Angeles, man. That's a crazy place. That's a really weird place. I grew up half my life in Kansas, half my life in California, so I can cook meth if it's gluten free. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, homeless people are out of control in California, man. It's nuts. Yeah, man. We had a we had a tornado in Compton. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that some end of the world shit? <laughs> That'll clean up the homeless problem real quick. <laughs> I never, I didn't see the, uh, the the debris in that Compton tornado, but it had to be hilarious because. Tornadoes have typical debris, you know? They got like a cow or a tractor and shit. What was in a Compton tornado? <laughs> some Air Jordans. Or some, <laughs> some Cholo. Fucking <laughs> oh, dizzy, Poker. the country they they're different now remember when homeless people used to say like normal homeless shit like help i'm hungry now they're just <laughs> uh, i see this every day in la i see a homeless guy in a fight with no one <laughs> they're just swinging something like, like that, right? I think, man, whatever he sees is real to him. <laughs> How do I know what I see is real? <laughs> like, I think I'm doing stand-up right now, but I could be like, I hop. It's real. <laughs> you better hope this is real too. <laughs> you better hope you're at a comedy club right now. You could be at a Greyhound station. <laughs> it's gotta be the end of the world, man. You guys saw that debate. One was lying, one was dying. Assassinate 
medication or nothing. This is like, uh, <laughs> This is crazy. I'm taking bets on when it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be during his 10th booster shot. <laughs> Take any more Moderna? Are you shitting me? They're gonna jab his arm, his eyes gonna pop. <laughs> or it's gonna be those stairs, you know? Man. They're setting him up the stairs like every day now. I think Kamala's behind that. <laughs> We got another staircase for you, Joe. <laughs> looks like every staircase like a stairway to heaven. <laughs> it should be illegal to have presidential candidates this old. <laughs> sign all kinds of shit. <laughs> Joe, can you spell your name? <laughs> Law, right there. I think that's happening. I look at some of the stuff he signs, like there was some stuff two years ago where uh, homeless people were supposed to get free crack pipes. Yeah, and there's a big line of homeless people wanting their free crack pipe. <laughs> It's the only pipeline he approves of. <laughs> I don't know, man. It just feels like the end of the world to me. And Trump, if he wins, I'm not looking forward to that. Because as I'll be honest, as a white guy, when he was president, that shit was rough. Every time he said some shit, I was like, fuck, I gotta go outside tomorrow. <laughs> oh. I just called in sick. I gotta go in. said fell on my shoulders, man. I could, I could feel it in society, you know? One time I was on a plane, right? Plane's always a diverse group of people, right? And I could feel that I was the, the evil white guy on the plane. I could just feel it because of what Trump said the day before. And all the people that worked on the plane happened to be black. And I need coffee every flight, and I don't like cream and sugar, but I was so afraid of ordering a black coffee. This lady came up to me, she's like, what can I get you, baby? I'm gonna do a coffee. How do you want it? I'm gonna take it straight. <laughs> what you mean by that? It's no cream, no sugar. So you want it black? Everybody on the plane knew what was going on. Like, ooh, white guy's fucking up. About to get canceled in the sky. And you know how they hire on planes? They always go four women, one gay man, right? <laughs> they have to. I don't know what lawsuit created that, but every flight in America. And they gotta get top shelf gay men, too. <laughs> like, we hit turbulence, our guy looked like a bobblehead the whole time. Yeah, 
Jackson too. Let me tell you. Accidentally pay a bill. <laughs> right after you pay it, like, oh fuck, why did I do that? I was financially irresponsible. <laughs> pay that bill. Bill collectors call it an attitude too. That's hilarious. Like, when are you gonna pay the money? First of all, I'll lose the tone in your voice. You should be happy I'm broke. I'm what gives you a job. Every time you call me, she's like, hey man, you still fucking up? Perfect. That's it. Job security, shit. <laughs> I feel like everybody's hurting. I, I don't know. I don't understand economics, but I just I feel like people are hurting. Like people were hurting last year. I, I can feel it because the way people reacted to the Titanic billionaire shit. <laughs> Man, people didn't give a fuck. The news is trying to make it all sad. Like they have to ration oxygen down there. <laughs> We're just up here like, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Guys are billionaires. All you gotta do is not die. And you have the best life in the world. Don't pet a lion. Don't go see the Titanic. You're good. I made fun of them the day of. I don't give a shit. Too soon doesn't make sense in that scenario. Because if you think about it, if you the too soon rule means I could make fun of Titanic passengers. You know what I mean? That's what. The, but the Titanic passengers, they didn't do anything wrong. They looked at the Titanic. It looked unsinkable. <laughs> These billionaires looked at this butt plug with an Xbox controller. <laughs> Bitter, man. It's been like this my whole life, man. Grew up in a trailer and shit. Got hit. That's how you punish kids when you're poor, by the way. You hit them. People are like, you shouldn't hit kids. That's just so old school. You shouldn't hit kids. Poor people have to hit their kids. What are they gonna do? Take something away? <laughs> you keep acting up, we're not gonna go to um. Just come here, I'm gonna punch you in the face. You're not gonna do shit. up schools too man. I was like uh, I was like trailer trash poor kid, right? I had a mullet and shit, you know? I went to mostly black schools. <laughs> I looked like Joe Dirt going into Compton. Man. Like, oh my God. And poor black families and poor white families, they're they're different, man. Poor black families will still budget well for the kids' attire. The kids still gonna look good at school. Poor white families are not like that. Yeah, school clothes Monday through Thursday. <laughs> On Friday, you start wearing that Monday and see it again. <laughs> you ever wear a repeat item around a black child? That shit is terrible. As <laughs> soon as you walk into class, that's the same stock as Monday, motherfucker. I'll beat your ass right now with your same stock. <laughs> see something else the same stock having that bitch. Every day by a fat kid named Jamarcus who always, always had the new Jordans. First of all, fat kid and Jordans total waste the money. 
Well, some of you don't want to laugh because you have fat kids at home. I know. I feel your pain. Spent $200 at Foot Locker. Now what? They're sideways and shit. Jordan's not even dunking, he's just taking a charge. Man, it's supposed to be Air Jordan, not Ground Jordan. I never wore the right shit. It's like I jumped a lot. I wore awful things. And this is my mom's advice on how to, how to deal with getting jumped. This is white mother advice. She goes, just say you don't want to find. Black people laughing at that shit? The white people are like, well, if you didn't want a confrontation, why would they pursue? You stated you wanted peace, correct? That's the beginning of it. No, as soon as you act like you're not willing to fight, that's when you're fighting. So then I learned, if you act like you are willing to fight, you're still gonna have to fight. <laughs> so I had to get smart, and so what I did, I started beating up other white dudes to climb the food chain. Yeah. I punched my friend Derek right in the face. <laughs> I thought we were cool, man. Nope, I'm Eminem, you're Macklemore. <laughs> we only accept one. It worked. It did. I got a bunch of friends and I didn't know what anybody was saying. I didn't know what 100 meant for like a year. I tried to roll with it. So we'll see you tomorrow, right? All right, 100. Uh, 56. 77 on those hoes. The one that messed me up the most, he already knew what time it was. <laughs> How am I supposed to figure that shit out? <laughs> hey, I saw Jamar at the gas station. He already knew what time it was. <laughs> so I beat his ass right there. Fuck, <laughs> for knowing the time? <laughs> to know what time it is? I didn't know that's a rule for the black community. Is that why black people show up late to shit? They're not allowed to know? Man, it's a tough life, man. I'm glad I grew up the way I did, though, man. You need black people to beat the right amount of whiteness out of you. I mean that. I really do, man. I live in Los Angeles now. Like the white people there, they, they haven't gotten beat up enough. And they try to cover up by, by being really woke to cover it up. Like, I don't even see color. What are you, a dog? What are you talking about? That's your annoying ass up. You're not racist if you see color. Everybody here, if you go into a sushi restaurant tonight and a white guy's a chef, you're gonna be like, fuck this place. Someone needs to fire Travis. <laughs> Let's go to the real Japanese place where they actually hire Mexicans. <laughs> what an authentic experience. <laughs> That's old woke too, man. That's old rules. Do you know that? That's old. You're more woke if you see color now. You're just not supposed to see gender. I don't know how we're gonna tell stories. <laughs> hey man, I heard you hooked up with that bartender. Yeah, I fucked the shit out of that person. <laughs> I was either sucking balls or titties, man. I don't see shit like that. It's 2024.
Jesus. <laughs> I couldn't like cross over like all the way with my friends either though, you know? That's also weird, you know? Like one time, this is the most awkward time ever at my bus stop. My friends came up to me like, hey man, you want a bus? You can say it. Nah, man, I'm good. Man. <laughs> I don't need to say that shit. Okay. No, man, we all said you could say it. Nah, I already know what time it is. Okay? <laughs> I'm 100 over here, guys. <laughs> 200, please. What are you gonna do? Print me out a certificate that I can show all the black people that you've approved of this? No. We're on the wrong guy. Oh no! Look at the placard. I've been certified since 05. Please. It's Delonte signature notarized 2005. No, there's a reason they call it the N-word. You keep that shit inward. You don't let it outward. brought me to their church. Yeah, I love their church, man. I went to a Southern Baptist black preacher growing up. That was fun, man. You know those sermons are like three to four days. <laughs> if you're on stage that long, week after week, you're bound to mess up a little bit. My pastor would cuss and try to cover it up. <laughs> and then the Lord said, on him, don't do that shit. <laughs> I got a King James, what do you got? It's supposed to be NIV. <laughs> you know, Kansas is the Bible belt. You know, that's how it is out there. My mom was very, very religious. This is how religious my mom was. She caught me uh, masturbating as a kid and brought Jesus into it. That, that was, uh, what happens if Jesus comes back when you're doing that? Like, that's his first thing? That's the first thing he does when he comes back? Busting on a 12 year old? Like Floyd Mayweather Sr. Wedding Macho Sons fight coming up next week. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now, right there, then back. Back, All the subtitles say question marks. Like, if you know boxing, that's some scary stuff because. The Mayweathers are defensive fighters. They didn't even get punched that much compared to other boxers. Yeah. Philly Shell, they protected their head, right? Floyd Jr., greatest defensive fighter of all time. Can't even read. <laughs> I don't know if you know who the toughest boxers are, but I'm gonna tell you who they are. 
Latino boxers are the toughest damn fighters. Man, they, they are, man. They don't give a shit about defense. <laughs> Cornerman's <laughs> not even giving advice. He's just bundling. Like, <laughs> I can't watch the end of the Mexican fighters' fights. I, I can't do it. I got too much white guilt. I can't watch this shit. There's always a white reporter asking complicated questions to the Latino fighter. Even though he got punched in the head 700 times, and English is a second language. Like, how did you deal with his footwork in the eighth round? I want to thank God. <laughs> man, I'm telling you though, man, like, it's sad what's happening to boxing now. I mean, these Jake Paul brother whatevers, YouTubers and shit, calling out a 60 year old Mike Tyson. Man. I'm gonna tell you this right now if you want society to improve tenfold, Jake Paul needs to die in that ring. I'm telling you, man, it would be good for society. We got a lot of people switching lanes when they need to stay in their fucking lane. Give it two years, that hop to a girl will be headlining this fucking club. Jake needs to die. That's how we stop this. That's why I'm watching for the old Tyson. I'm seeing if it's coming out, you know? I'm hoping it is. Because Tyson's old trash talk, that was the best out of any fighter. Man, he was the best. Like, Ali, he gets his credit as the best trash talker, but I think it was Tyson. Like, Ali was clever, you know, charismatic. My jab, I'm like a butterfly, I'm so fast. And then Tyson, I'm a fucking in the ass in the ring. <laughs> his dick off in front of his kid. What did he just say? Terrifying. You don't mess with a guy that says shit like that. You know? Can't play mind games with someone who's out of their mind. You know? If you got a pretty lady, man, if someone hits on her tonight, you know, it's Vegas, say Tyson shit, you won't even have to fight. Someone comes up on her, like, hey baby, you wanna dance? Like, hey, back up, man, that's my girl. Well, fuck you, boy. let's go in the back and just settle this shit. <laughs> you just lean in, I'm gonna finger you in the parking lot. Kids, right? She still tried dick teasing. 
She was like, maybe if you play your cards right. I fold. <laughs> I'm not paying regular prices for a salvage title. should make noises. We don't have the option for that shit. Right? I'm sorry, you're angelic, man. Right? And then him. Right? I'm afraid to let it out, man. That's worse. I'm a creepy, quiet guy. to dry you out as I express myself. <laughs> she said, no man makes a good noise. I know for a fact. I grew up in a trailer. My mom got around, all right? All ten of my stepdad sounded like shit. For everything, the Arnold. <laughs> the Stallone. <laughs> complaining to me, like, I want a noise, so I know you're having fun. I don't know fun noises, like, Wee! <laughs> You guys have been fun, man. I'm going to Thank you so much. Fun. I don't know fun noises. <laughs> I'm trying to find a noise, you know. You got a noise, man? You got a noise? So guys, uh, this gentleman here told me the coolest thing ever. He had a surgery four months ago. What's the name of the surgery? So it's a cochlear implant surgery. Uh, so pretty much what I wear. Yeah. So cool. for the past 37 years, um, he's been deaf um, until this year when he got his cochlear. And now he's been able to hear. And this is the first comedy show that we've been to since the surgery that he's been able to like hear and enjoy and laugh. and. Yeah. It's, it's pretty amazing. fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been practiced, though. It, it's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing, man. I, I, that, that is the coolest thing and I, I, that you get to hear laughter for the first time and sort of understand the, the nuances and stuff like that. Yeah. Are you guys married? Yeah. Yeah, we've been married. We've been together for seven years. Yeah. We've been married for two years. Yeah. Married for two years. You're gonna, you're, well, probably by the, th I'm married my third year. Okay. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna miss being deaf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like being deaf sometimes. He can turn it off when we're fighting. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, I lost my. Uh, I, lost I hate it butt. so fucking much, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I love it. 